only arrived in Cannes a few hours ago. This feels great as a, as a sort of intro to the whole place again. The best films are at Cannes. If you want to know what, how world cinema is developing, the best films are at Cannes. The films that are here in the festival, they inspire you, and the people who are here, they, they kind of back you up. It's a good thing. It's a place where we feel we can meet uh, Indian directors, Indian industry people, producers, and uh, for, for us it's important. This time actually uh, I'm finding a lot of difference, particularly in their pavilion. It's a beautiful, marvelous pavilion. It's exquisitely organized. It looks amazing because I've been here for a few years and it's, it really has a fantastic feel to it this year. Um, it, it, it feels like a little bit of India in Cannes. But I was really excited by um, you know, the vitality, instant, of, of just putting up the, you know, up, opening the shutter of this place and people are just coming through and coming through and coming through. I'm very happy to see that the Indian Pavilion has become really a place for the Indian industry people to meet and to welcome the foreign delegates also and a place to share thoughts and ideas about Indian cinema. I think the India Pavilion this year has been the buzz of all the pavilions. It's, it's the hot spot this year. This pavilion, the Indian Pavilion, is working much better this year. And there are many more people here, many more contacts made, many more events. And that's terribly important. There's this whole incredible India tie-up that they've done, which is fantastic because cinema can also be used to promote a kind of a tourism tie-up. I like the campaign of Incredible India. It's a very good slogan. I I find this um, very good. I mean, in Europe we do the same. Every film commission, every film institution is now um, related with the tourism office. It's a very necessary move because after all, tourism and uh, uh, you know our film festivals are very connected. While it is about films, it's promoting the country. So this is a very happy mix that the Ministry of Tourism has come forward to help. I think the Ministry of Tourism as well as the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting have done a wonderful job job in combining the best of India and bringing it to Cannes. This is the best performance of India in Cannes ever. These festivals and meeting and that has meant a lot that you have brought and been having this outlook because I think coming out and back again is really important for the new Indian scene. It can become easier to do deal if some co-production comes to India and wants to shoot in India. It can actually cost much less if it is handled the way we do our films. This is the first time I'm seeing an organized attempt to get into co-production. Meeting people, doing some work, getting some work, giving some work. It's a networking platform and uh, it's also a nice place to uh, meet other film commissions. I'm uh, here to close finance and uh, to just meet directors and writers and financiers and sales agents and also to continue my collaboration with Indian filmmakers. At this point of time I'm actually watching uh, a lot of movies and I'm kind of writing a blog and uh, I'm also really looking at movies for the purpose of acquisition for distribution in the Indian subcontinent and uh, I'm really networking with some uh, people for furthering my business interest and that's what I do here. We drive through that business model because of who we are and what inspires us and the people who are sitting in this room rather than somewhere else uh, have a certain fascination with India, that's why you're here. This year, it's the first year that you could sit outside and you meet people, Indian producers, Indian studio. Out here, you have a real identity alongside all of the others, you know, all the other national bodies here. There's the UK and there's the American Pavilion, there are the Dutch just there and there's Qatar. So being here in the National Village is, I think, really important. It's more lively, it's good. And it fits in, it, it has more the feeling of what you should do in Cannes. It's more integrated in the real festival feeling and the market feeling why we're all here. So I like it a lot. The Indian Pavilion is 
very well organized, I must say, so a lot of meetings and very welcoming. You can finally see the vitality and the diversity of Indian cinema reflected in the pavilion. Part of the NFDC delegation of uh, Indian new emerging filmmakers from India and uh, yeah, it's my first time in Cannes, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm a filmmaker from India and I've like, done five films but uh, Cannes has always been a dream so I'm really glad that I came here and uh, uh, I'm thankful to NFDC that just selected me, it's the first time. I think it's a very good initiative that a young filmmakers from India, they can come to Cannes and they can interact with uh, a lot of uh, international film festivals. It's a good opportunity to exchange our ideas. We have much, much more new age filmmakers, new generation coming up, and do, who are making movies which are uh, going back to literature, uh, you know, attempting new forms, new styles, new techniques of narrative structures. So I think through India Pavilion, spectators, visitors will be able to experience that India is not only about song and dance, and it's also about this new wave of Indian cinema. We just started. The food smells good, so I want to grab some. So it's very nice people here. Once the dance floor will be open, everybody will be dancing, Indians and, and foreigners alike. It feels like we're back in Bombay, right from the entry where we had to queue and there were like 100 people waiting, wanting to get in. Uh, but I think it's, it's, there's a lot of positive energy, a lot of positive life. Fantastic party.